combat battle reports. Today we have Flames of War and we are in Sicily. That's why the ground is a little odd. We have the desert ground, but uh, all these patches of trees and uh, green hills and that sort of thing. That's where you're kind of transitioning from the uh, African to the European area. So anyway, it looks a little bit like that. Uh, we're doing the fighting withdrawal, and so the Germans are dug in all along this line. They have an objective here that they're guarding. They have a couple of eights on that hill. They are uh, dug in in these trenches over here, and they're guarding a, an objective that is back here. And then you've got these uh, guys, these Panthers, behind this town, and then an infantry unit in, or platoon in the town with an objective back there. The uh, their opponents are British Indians, and I know I don't have their uh, special uh, tops on, I don't have special uh, miniatures just for that, but I just thought it'd be interesting to have a little different of a unit than just your plain old uh, British troops. Uh, no offense to people who are in the British military. All right, so then you saw a long line of artillery back there. Here's a platoon of infantry in these woods. You have a platoon of uh, Shermans back there, a couple of Portis back there, and then another uh, platoon of infantry back here. Basically, here's what the scenario is. The, uh, what do you call it, the British or the Indians, actually, what they really want is to whine, apparently, according to my cat patches. Is that right? All right. Uh, they, the, um, uh, the attackers, which are the Indians, want to take one of these three objectives as quickly as possible because starting around turn four, I think, the Germans, we'll look at that in the rules, but at that point the Germans start pulling away, so essentially they will be able to start withdrawing, and if the Germans can successfully withdraw before the Indians get to them, well, then they will uh, escape. And basically the Germans get to start pulling up uh, objectives at that point, and it's a certain, at a certain point they just can't take it anymore. So the British or, or the Indians are going to have to take it before them. Bear in mind they also have some medium artillery that is off board, that's really heavy artillery. They're going to have the tr first turn, so let's see how this goes. And the game is off to a bang. The uh, British or Indians have brought eight 25 pounders and eight medium guns, which is a hell of a lot of artillery. They uh, rained it down on this trench line, in which case they only destroyed one uh, what's it called that, uh, one mortar team. Um, the rest are pinned down, of course, and the medium guns came down on this, and you'd think they would have destroyed them, but they only hit one th target, which of course the Germans put onto the commander, and uh, he managed to save, and so that is a pinned down. However, the infantry who then came out and started running forward, you wouldn't expect them to hit anything, they just took a pot shot, but they managed to hit, and they didn't save, and they uh, got their, uh, um, got their firepower roll. And so, as you can tell, uh, they actually have taken somebody out of the trench, so the, the trench is not doing so well uh, quite at the moment. Portis came out, took a pot shot, did not hit anything, and didn't, then did not succeed at trying to get back behind their cover, so now they are exposed. On to the German turn, and they have started to move their infantry sneaking up through these buildings here, presumably towards that artillery that's back there. It's totally exposed. They have no one to protect them. The Panthers have started sneaking over here. I'm going to start calling them the Pink Panther because they are doing the whole do 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 little sneaky bastards. I guess that's PG still. All right, the trench line fired. They stay pent, stay pent. So they didn't get a lot of fire, but they did manage to kill one of the charge, one of the assaulting units. The 88s unpinned, but didn't manage to do anything. And these guys remained uh, gone to ground. They're just going to remain hidden until the target comes closer. Also, bear in mind the Germans also still have a, uh, an ambush in reserve. So we'll see what that winds up being. The British assault continues to push forward. The artillery came down and took out the 88s completely. You can see that is some real nice dice rolling. They had to back that up with some firepower, but they did. Plus, especially because they're uh, medium guns. So they just completely wiped that out. Uh, continuing along the trench line, they didn't actually do anything, but they kept them pinned. Uh, the men running by uh, didn't do anything as they uh, took pot shots going by. And the aircraft came by and took out one of the Pink Panthers. There's still a uh, couple... Oh, Patrick didn't like that. I guess because it's a cat. Uh, so she just whined when she heard about that. But anyway, there are still two more patches, so it's going to be fine. 
and on the German second turn. Let's start from left to right. Uh, the infantry has moved forward. You'll notice they went a little further than you might expect. It's because we had forgotten the stern movement before, so they got it this time. They are getting awfully close to uh, that, uh, that artillery there, which has been raining terror on them. Uh, they fired a bit on here, weren't particularly effective. Uh, fired a little bit out there, managed to pick off one of the infantry that's coming forward, and the armor is uh, moving itself around. They got the extra stern movement as well, so they got close to the trees. Hopefully for their sake, the, uh, that'll protect them from the uh, air fire. By the way, I should have shown what uh, these guys in the trenches were rolling. Yeah, you can tell, they, they really weren't doing very well. That's probably because they're pinned down. I mean, they're, you know, in trenches, they're pinned down, they're gonna kind of go for cover, so they're kind of letting the, uh, the Indians go by them. Besides, they're not bothering them anyway, they're running after a different target. We're midway through the uh, turn, and it's looking bad for the Germans, although also bad for the Indian artillery. All right, the artillery came in one more time and took out uh, almost all of those uh, hit, are hits from the artillery, finally taking them all down. But just being ranged in, they were able to just keep on firing down in there. British artillery is also infinitely, or is also uh, infamously uh, severe. You also have these portees have fired in there and took out a couple of them as well so they're not doing pretty well. The assaults are coming in. They haven't fired yet and they haven't assaulted. Um, this artillery tried to range in on these guys and just couldn't. They actually needed a five and in six rolls they could not get a five. So they're in trouble over there. Uh, over here, the uh, airplane has come in and uh, we've tried to roll how many there are gonna be, but they're gonna be coming in after these uh, kitties over here. The assault went in. Uh, as you can see, they killed the two that were there. Uh, the Indians, and the Gurkhas in particular, uh, are really good at assaulting and they uh, cause fear in their enemies who have to re-roll their counterattack. They did not succeed and so they had to pull back. That, the one benefit it did give them is it pulled them out of uh, range of uh, this assaulting platoon. Now you do get uh, uh, firing is too good, but this wasn't firing, this was uh, assault, so we're calling it as they're not going to be able to uh, move in there. Meanwhile, the plane did come in and it caused the uh, panther to bail out. Not too good, huh, kitty? Nah, she's, she's liking those pink panthers. And uh, yeah, not too good. Big turn for the Germans, but it could have been even bigger. Let's start with this uh, platoon that was in the center. Uh, they actually passed their morale, but this being the withdrawal scenario, they uh, had to choose somebody to, to skedaddle, and yeah, that uh, was the perfect one to uh, send away. Uh, way over here, that infantry has been moving up here. Yes, indeed, they did assault that artillery. They took out uh, one of the platoons and started to pick away at the second one. So uh, they're pinned down, and it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be bad news for the uh, the Indians back there. Uh, over here, they pulled back a little bit and brought up their uh, the, the one remaining Panther that uh, is operating and picked off one of the units, but the rest are still in there. Now here's where there was the big opportunity. They, they really did something big, but they kind of whiffed it. Their uh, ambush came out. Three flam panthers came up over this hill, flamed a lot of the uh, Indians here. In fact, you can see uh, four hits, no saving throws on that. But here's how much they rolled. They just needed fours or better, and they got all of those misses. They could have completely wiped out that unit, uh, but only took out four of them. Uh, they did cause them to uh, roll morale, and their company commander's in there, and they managed to get a five even without his help. So they're still in there, and these things are out of uh, flame. So uh, that was kind of a, it was a big hit. It did actually take out one of the only two Indian platoons of infantry, but that was their, uh, their big defense, and that was really what they were kind of counting on. And the Indian assault is stalled. Uh, the infantry did not go quite as far as they could have. They uh, consolidated in that uh, in those woods there, and also the other line, the other one that got spanked really hard went into the uh, 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 into the rubble there, into the um, craters there uh, that had been you know done by a lot of artillery fire or whatever. Uh, those do count as, as cover. So anyway, so they are uh, stalled before you know the infantry is here. You also have a panther that's right there. You still also have these flam panthers. Uh, well, actually they were kind of useless, but they were kind of you know in the way. But now they've been hit by artillery and the three uh, uh, Shermans that came up. 
Um, the one that was remaining said, screw this, I'm useless anyway, and so he uh, skedaddled out of there. Uh, but that does count as a loss for the German player. Um, back here, the artillery and the Portis tried to defend against the oncoming Germans, were unsuccessful, so the Portis, who get to do a stormtrooper move, went, screw this, we're getting out of here, good luck, uh, artillery, and they uh, moved out of there. But uh, luckily for them, the, that artillery's really done their thing. The artillery that got these guys was uh, the medium artillery, which is off table. The Germans are uh, holding on by the skin of their teeth and not doing a really great job of it. This uh, guy won't get back into his tank, he just outright refuses. They tried to dig in, they were not able to. Even took a pot shot and weren't able to do anything with that. Uh, but way back here, these guys, uh, they kind of deserve the Iron Cross or whatever. Um, they went through and wiped out all that artillery back there, and now they're facing these Portis. And you remember how I was saying about the uh, medium artillery can't be taken out? Well, they can't take out the guns, but they can hit the spotter. So you still have uh, a few spotters back there, but they're going to be able to sweep through and take them out. So the uh, Indian artillery might be taken out soon. And that will be the end of the game. The uh, Indians came in and uh, really kicked some butt. They charged in there, and you can see that's the defensive fire is the black dice. Uh, they came one short of pinning them, uh, which would have stopped the assault. And the, um, they, the, the Indians saved anyway and didn't take any losses. Uh, got rid of that one, uh, taking the objective to the Germans. Possibly could have contested it with this one tank, but as you can see, the Sherman went through there, risked the bog. In fact, one of them got bogged and managed to bail the Panther uh, out. Um, these guys just stayed behind, including the company commander, doesn't need to risk himself. And then these Portis actually got into place and took out two of the Germans back there. So anyway, that would be it. Uh, it was a good game. The Indians really uh, held up. They just ran in there and charged and used that artillery well. Um, thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe uh, and happy gaming, everybody.